the career opportunity nobody talks about. Let me ask you a serious question. Would you risk 10 years in federal prison for one careless mistake? Because that's exactly what happened to a defense contractor who took home top secret data on his personal laptop. He didn't leak it, he didn't sell it, he just told it wrong. And before you know it, national security violation. You might be thinking, that's insane. How can a simple mistake ruin someone's life? Welcome to the world of classified cyber security. In the last five years alone, we've seen an NSA employee take classified document home, only for them to get stolen by foreign hackers. A military contractor stole classified files on an unapproved cloud server, leaking US defense plans. Government officials using personal devices for classified communication, violating security laws. And guess what? Every single one of them paid the price. Some lost their jobs, some lost their freedom, some compromised national security. This isn't just about following rules. It's about protecting a nation and by extension, your career. And here's the thing nobody is telling you. Every single one of these incidents has created a massive demand for cybersecurity professionals who understand classified data protection. We're talking six-figure salaries right out of the gate. Incredible job security and work that actually matters. And today, I'm breaking down the insider's blueprint to navigate this hidden career path. I will show you the four-tier classification system that determines every piece of sensitive information that is handled, okay? Also, the exact agencies that control this ecosystem and how to position yourself within them. We'll look at common security failures that you need to understand to become invaluable and the modern zero trust model that's revolutionizing how classified data is protected. Now, let me be clear about something. If you're looking for a get-rich-quick scheme or some magical certification that will land you a six-figure job overnight, please click away now. This is in that video. This is for people who are serious about building a long-term career in a field that's not just profitable, but critical to national security. And if by the end of this video, you get any value at all, please don't forget to give this video a like and turn on notifications for more value-packed updates. Okay, so let's start with the data classification level that exists and why they matter more than you think. So the US government categorizes information using a tiered system based on one simple question. How much damage would occur if this information got into the wrong hands? Now think of it like this. A leak at the lowest level might cause headaches. A leak at the highest level could literally get people killed. And that's why we have four categories of classified data. Category one is public or unclassified data. This is basic information that poses no risk to national security. Government press releases, public research, basically the stuff you can find with a Google search. But here's what people miss. Even within unclassified info, some documents are marked for official use only or controlled unclassified information. These aren't classified, but they are sensitive. Things like personal data or infrastructure details. And then we have category two, which is confidential data. This is the entry level classification. We're talking about information that could cause some damage to national security if leaked. Think routine military communications or diplomatic cables. To access this, you need a confidential clearance and a need to know, meaning a valid job reason to see that specific information. Following that is secret data. Now we're getting serious. Secret classification is for information that would cause serious or grave damage to national security if exposed. Military plans, intelligence reports, technology designs, all fall within this category. Also, it requires a secret clearance, which means a deeper background check, all right? And the information is handled much more cautiously, okay? We're talking separate secure networks, stricter protocols, and the whole works. Finally, there's the top secret. This is obviously the highest level. 
If this information leaks, it could cause exceptionally grave damage to national security. We're talking about advanced military operations, high level intelligence, information on spies, advanced cryptography materials. Access is extremely limited, so you need a top security clearance, specific need to know, and often additional compartmented authorizations. This is where things go wrong for most people trying to enter this field. They focus all their energy on getting a clearance without understanding how the system actually works. Now let me give you a reality check. The clearance is just your ticket to the game. It doesn't guarantee you will ever touch the ball. Do you remember Edward Snowden? The guy who accessed thousands of top secret documents? So, do you think he was able to do that just because he had a clearance? No, he exploited a system that wasn't properly implemented. The need to know principle. He had access he shouldn't have had. The real opportunity in this field isn't just knowing the classification levels. It's understanding the technologies and protocols that protect each information at each level. Now, let me show you exactly how classified document moves through the system because this is where the real career opportunities exist. Now, this might shock you, but do you know that you cannot, I repeat, cannot email a secret document over Gmail or store it on a normal cloud drive? Common sense, right? You'll be amazed at how many six-figure security professionals have been fired or even prosecuted for exactly this mistake. The government has specific networks that are designed exclusively for classified information. So if you work in classified cybersecurity, you're going to hear these three names a lot. First, it's non-classified internet protocol router network or the NIPRNE. This is used for unclassified but sensitive government communication. Now think government emails, administrative work, and internal non-classified data. Then we have Secret Internet Protocol Router Network, also known as SIPRNet. This particular one is used for secret level classified information, like military plans, intelligence reports, and cybersecurity threat data. And absolutely no public internet access is allowed. It is completely encrypted and locked down. And finally, there is Joint Worldwide Intelligence Communication Systems, or JWIX. This is specifically for top secret or sensitive compartmented information. It is the most secure network usually used for covert operations, for covert operations, national security strategies, and nuclear defense plans. These aren't just different login screens. These are physically separate infrastructures with controlled endpoint, military grade encryption, and constant monitoring. Now, let me tell you a story that illustrates why this matters. It was in 2017, a defense contractor left classified intelligence data on an open Amazon Web Services storage bucket, not in some secure facility, on a commercial cloud server that is accessible to anyone with an internet connection. His mistake was he set up cloud storage without proper security controls, then uploaded classified files to it. Basic error, catastrophic consequences. Now, here is where your opportunity comes in. Every single classified system requires people who understand. Understand what? How to properly configure these networks, how to implement access controls following the need to know principle, how to securely transfer data between approved systems, how to monitor for unusual or unauthorized access. See, these aren't just IT jobs. These are specialized cybersecurity roles that require understanding of both technical systems and classification protocols. But physical security is just as critical, right? Classified documents and media must be stored in approved secure containers or facilities like GSA approved safes and vaults, SCIFs, that is sensitive compartmented information facilities. And these are specifically designed secure rooms for top security materials and then secure transfer protocols using double wrapped packaging and cleared couriers. And should I tell you the fastest way to spot someone who has never worked with classified information? They think cybersecurity is just about technical controls. In reality, 
cyber security for classified data is a mesh of technical physical and procedural safeguards the most successful professionals in these fields understand the full spectrum from encryption algorithms to proper handling of hard copies you know i get a lot of messages from people asking how they can break into cyber security it's tough especially if you're like how i used to be stuck in a job that doesn't pay enough or feeling like you've hit a wall i get it that is why i created something more than just these videos you're watching something structured practical and focused on real action it's called the five day cyber security job challenge this isn't just content you binge and forget we're talking hands on learning real skills and daily guidance two hours a day for five days it's all designed to push you from thinking about change to actually making it happen look i love making these youtube videos but let's be honest how many times have you watched a great video thought i'm going to do something about that and then didn't that is why this challenge is different it's designed to be your support okay we're not just learning you're giving task actionable steps every single day with live q and a's where i personally help you avoid mistakes and land the jobs that will change your life watching my videos is great but if you want to go beyond watching if you're ready to take real steps toward a $250,000 career a year come join the challenge the link is in the description below you can't miss it now enjoy the rest of this video but don't forget to come back when you're ready to take that next step now let's talk about who actually controls the this ecosystem because that's where your potential employers are see guys three main players dominate the classified data protection landscape and understanding their roles is critical to positioning yourself for the right opportunities first up is the department of defense yes the dod is the heavyweight they handle an enormous amount of classified information across the military and defense contractors if you want to work with classified data as a contractor you will deal with the national industrial security program nisp which sets standard for protecting classified information okay the defense counter intelligence and security agency they oversee this they inspect and monitor over 12,000 cleared facilities 12,000 yes think about that number 12,000 facilities each needing multiple security professionals who understand classified data protection like that's not even counting positions within the military itself the second player you should be paying attention to is national security agency most people think the nsa is just about intelligence gathering that's wrong the nsa is also the national manager for secure government systems they approve the cryptographic algorithms that are used to encrypt classified communications and run programs like commercial solutions for classified if you have a background in encryption secure communications or threat detection the nsa ecosystems offers incredible opportunities both directly with the agency and with contractors that are supporting their mission and then player number three is cyber security and infrastructure security agency you see caesar is younger but growing in influence as part of homeland security civilian government cyber security and critical infrastructure the issue binding directives that require federal agencies to patch systems and tighten security immediately while they don't directly handle as much classified information as dod or nsa caesar's role in protecting the broader federal infrastructure create opportunities for professionals who understand how to secure environments where classified data might occasionally be processed now aside these three heavyweights don't also overlook these important players information security oversight office they oversee classification policy office of the director of national intelligence who coordinates across intelligence agency and nist yes that nist that you know because they provide cyber security frameworks that apply to classified systems okay so let me tell you the strategic opportunity most people miss these agencies don't just need technical experts they need people who understand both the technical and policy sides of protection now let me explain why this matters 
when Harold Martin stockpiled 50 terabytes of classified data at his home over many years. It wasn't primarily a technical failure, okay? The system he accessed were technically secure. The failure was in policy enforcement and monitoring because the professionals who are most valuable in this ecosystem and just technical specialists, they are translators who can bridge the gap between policy requirement and technical implementation. So, despite all the safeguards I've talked about, classified data still leaks. These failures reveal exactly where the gaps are in the system and where your expertise could become invaluable. In nearly every major classified data breach, the vulnerability wasn't in the technology, it was in how humans implemented and used that technology. Okay? Now, the highest paid professionals in this field, they are not just technical experts. They are people who understand human behavior and they can design systems that protect classified data even when users make mistakes or intentionally try to circumvent controls. And this leads us to the newest and possibly most important evolution in classified data protection, the zero trust security model. You probably know by now that traditional security was built on a castle and moat model. Once you are inside the network, you are trusted. Zero trust flips that completely, okay? Trust no one and nothing by default, even inside your network. So for classified data protection, this means verifying every access every time with the understanding that an intruder could already be inside your systems or that a legitimate user might abuse their access. Under zero trust, every single action is verified. Every login requires multiple authentication steps. Every document access is logged and monitored. So if a user's behavior changes, access is revoked immediately. This means that even if an insider tries to pull a snowy style leak, their access will be flagged, tracked, or shut down in real time. And by the end of this year, the US government is requiring all agencies, like all agencies, to adopt zero trust. Now, this is where the massive opportunity exists right now. Government agencies are frantically trying to implement zero trust for classified systems, but there's a severe shortage of professionals who understand both zero trust principles and classified data requirements. The cybersecurity landscape is constantly evolving, but one thing remains constant, the need to protect the nation's most sensitive information. The professionals who master this specialized niche aren't just well paid. No, they are performing work that directly impacts national security. If you are serious about pursuing this path, here is your first action plan. First, get the fundamentals right. Learn the classification levels, handling requirements, and basic security principles that I've outlined today. Number two, develop expertise in specific technical areas that is in high demand. Okay, secure networks, identity management, encryption, cloud security, or insider threat detection. And number three, consider positions with defense contractors as your entry point. These organizations often provide the clearance process and training that you need to advance in this field. You see, this isn't just about understanding data protection. It's about mastering the delicate balance between policy, security, and human behavior. And in a world where classified data is constantly under threat, the professionals who can navigate this landscape are the ones who make a real difference. The question now is, are you ready to become one of them? If you find this valuable, hit that subscribe button I'm dropping new content every week to help you navigate the most valuable career opportunities most people never discover. And I hope I'm leaving you better than I met you today. I will see you in the next one. Till then, bye for now.